Hey, Mochi Mochi. Hello, hello, hello. Hopefully you're able to hear me now. Uh, pretty good. Let's check it out here. I'm going to see if I can... Oh, I'm using the blue snowball. Ah, that's what's happening. <laughs> let me check it out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, let me check it out here. Ah, here we go. Okay, great. Alright, okay, yeah. I'm gonna have to edit that out. Okay, cool. Alright, so hello, how's it going, you guys? I know it's been definitely quite a bit of time since our last session. Well, not session, but our last video. Hey, Mosh Moshi. Mosh Moshi. Ah, there we go. Uh, Kwon Manwa. Yeah, because it's night here. But anyway, uh, well, greetings. Hey, how's it going, you guys? I know that you guys have been definitely waiting for a new video, and here it is. So essentially what I wanted to do is this, I just wanted to outline all of the you know advances that have been happening recently. And so essentially what's happening is that you know we have quite a few new like updates. If there are going to be updates to this channel in addition to like my special website. The link is going to be down in the description so you don't want to miss it. Anyhow, so I wanted to go over you know how to essentially master so the best thing to do in this case would probably be to just think in the language first that's first and foremost and essentially after that what you want to do after you you know think in the language is that you want to focus on absorbing as much of the language as possible so those are the two only only two strategies that I would essentially I guess give out if you want to take your like language learning to the next level so once again we have the oh, okay so anyhow that's what essentially you should be doing if you're getting started in any language that's what you should be doing you know you shouldn't be focusing on some flashcards or things of that nature you know contrary to popular opinion if you really want to reach fluency in said language you know like myself when I reached native level level fluency in Japanese then the best thing to do would essentially be to try to focus on those two things that I mentioned so thinking in a language so you can do that by you know thinking in the English if that's your native language whatever your native language is and essentially just using a third-party translator app like Google Translator after you do that then bam you know you'll be able to process your thoughts more quickly eventually you will, I guess your lexicon in that language will increase to the extent in which, you know, you're making a lot of progress and the translations will come much more quickly. I know it's been happening for me recently and, you know, perhaps a lot of my other students as well. And so that would be number one. So number one, of course, once again, would be to think in the target language as often as possible. So it's pretty cool. Number two would be to focus a bit on, you know, the... I guess the exposure exposure aspect of it so you know with exposure you know all you have to do is yeah exactly that you know so just try to expose yourself to native I guess material as often as possible I know that in Japanese you know there's the anime there's the manga there's the where there are the TV shows you know the dramas things of that nature the same goes for Korean and a slew of other languages so that's essentially what you would have to do. So if you like the this video so far, yeah, please feel free to press a like there, a smash the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. I'm also going to be doing some other stuff, you know, like perhaps some tech reviews in the near future that might be possible. <laughs> I would have to buy a crap ton of new products, but you know, it's definitely possible. And also, I just want to say that you know if you want to go to the next level regarding your language learning please feel free to uh, take a look at my teachable course I have two courses available right now one is available for ESL learners and the second one is available for Japanese learners so once again we have the modern <clears throat> we have the ESL learners course which is modern English it's in series one right now this is the first series followed by modern Japanese. This will be for my Japanese learners. So if you find any of those helpful, if you believe that you definitely need to break out of the, I guess the, 
I guess barriers that you've been encountering recently then please feel free to stop by those my link below so it's gonna be great I hope that you enjoy it and once again uh, thanks a lot so thanks a lot for watching the video and I look forward to providing more assistance in the near future so uh, and until next time <laughs> ciao ciao